Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in sunny and chilly Central California. Um, this morning, I thought I'd talk about a couple of issues we had this week. Um, this is maybe two issues of the week with uh, similar causes. Um, so two things um, occurred this week. A bunch of stuff occurred but for the purposes of this video. Uh, one of the things we were supposed to do this past week and we didn't get done was to um, migrate our firewalls, uh, copper ports, to a trunked fiber connection to our, uh, our, our WAN switches. Um, so we had professional services set up the trunk connection on our firewall. We've never done it before. I mean, it looks simple enough, but we, we, we hired them out just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Um, and then we set up the, uh, the trunk on the terraces, I'm sorry, the extreme, that's how long I've been in this extreme, the extreme side of the uh, network. So we, we set up the, the MLT, they call it, multi-link trunk, and then we set up the SMLT, which spans that across two switches. So that was all correct and looking like it was working fine. We plug into the firewall and we can't get any links from the firewall. The switch says there's a link Link light on the switch lights up on the port on the firewall. So we worked for about, I don't know, four or five hours on that with extreme tech support and uh, Palo Alto tech support. Could not get these things to link up, everything we tried. So we said, we'll tell you what, let's let's uh, fall back and uh, check our check our cabling and then we'll we'll call back. So we did, we checked everything. We still couldn't find anything wrong. So a couple of days had passed. So I called into tech support again and couldn't get the original guy, I got a different guy. He says, uh, well, why don't you, um, why don't you uh, set auto negotiation on the, uh, or disable auto negotiation on the pa Palo Alto? Okay, I thought we tried that, but maybe we didn't. Apparently we didn't. As soon as I went into the Palo Alto firewall and disabled auto negotiation on those ports, boom, everything came up. So auto negotiation, put a pin in that, remember that, that, that was an issue there. Um, we disabled it on the Palo Alto. Um, and the reason we had to do that apparently was because uh, auto negotiation is not supported on the GBICs that we put into our switch. Uh, we didn't know that. Uh, they're one gig GBIX, which I call Palo Alto will support. Um, so, sorry, I'm, I'm trying not to shiver. It's cold out here. And apparently the one gig GBIX don't support auto negotiation. So the switch knows, but apparently any device that connects to it doesn't. I would think that auto wouldn't matter, that auto negotiation would, would just go out and say, hey, you know, what speed and duplex are you running at? And um, and just match it. And, uh, but that, that wasn't happening. It had to be manually set. So like I said, put a pin in that. So now I'm gonna go into issue number two, which we'll, we'll actually do some show and tell for that. So I'm gonna share my screen. And the whole screen, where's our screen? There we go. Get this out of the way. All right. So the problem I had, I'm gonna simulate this was with one switch in, uh, in our hospital that the, our nurse call system connects to. And um, this was a more budget conscious switch. I talked about this in, a, in the applying licenses video a week or two ago, that uh, you buy these switches, they don't come licensed for 10 gig uplinks. You have to buy a license for that. And you can buy two different licenses, um, two port license, for 10 gig uplinks or a four port license for 10 gig uplinks. So we had initially bought the two, two port license and we upgraded to the four port license and I did a video on how, to, how the upgrade process went and what I had to do. Um, so there was that. So we, we put in the quad, the four uplink license, everything looked good, except that when I did show sharing, as this command right here, 
you look, you see the config master is port 51 and the ports being shared are 49, 50, 51 and 52. So all these ports here are all being shared. Um, this guy being the master. Only because that's what it was before, so we just left it. And you can see these Y's over here saying it's an aggregate member. I'm going to simulate what I was seeing. I don't want to put the command back in. So, um, so here's the interface. Gigabit four slash one. And is that the one I want? Yes. So just real quick to simulate this, I'm going to shut this interface down. So what I was seeing over here, sorry, it's hard to see my mouse out here. I'm going to show sharing. This is what I would see. All the ports were up and a member of the aggregate group, group except for this one. And if I looked at the port status, it was all enabled. So go port 49 through 52. What I was showing is enable active, active, active. Now this one's showing ready because the other side is down, but they were showing active on all those. Let me do this so that'll stay there. There we go. Um, so we couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. So finally, 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 I, uh, I kept working with Extreme on this. In this case, it was open for a couple of weeks. This one uh, rep, she finally dug through and she found the problem was here in this interface config. This interface config right here. Um, and it was the only one that had it. There was a uh, auto negotiate enable on there. Auto negotiate enable, which, you know, it's an extreme switch talking to an extreme switch shouldn't be a problem, right? And she said there shouldn't be a problem. Well, there was. And the reason there was is because if I do um, this, those two configuration statements right there. Configure ports 4950 auto negotiate off. Speed one gig, uh, 10 gig duplex full. Auto negotiation is turned off on this. The reason I have to do that is because the license requires it. The license says if you're going to use this license with 10 gig ports on ports 49 and 50, it was, you must turn off auto negotiation and manually set the speed to 10 gig. So that's what we did. And again, the auto negotiation, speaking to the Avaya, the, the legacy Avaya switches, they're extreme now, but they, they were Avaya switches. Um, switch talking to them, and unless auto negotiation is set on both sides, having it on one side and manually on the other doesn't work. So what I did is I went in here to the uh, switch and an interface gigabit 41 I said no auto negotiate enable and when I did that that we're just simulating this for now when I did that and did my show sharing all of a sudden everything was back up you see it's a port 50 is an aggregate member again link states active up. So anyway, two different problems, um, and both related to auto negotiation. So, I mean, it's always been my understanding that, you know, it's always been my understanding that you should have it set the same on both sides. So, if if a, if a PC say has auto negotiation enabled, um, then you enable. You just leave the switch, set it out in negotiation. Um, if the switch has, like, it's only can go up to, let's say, 100 meg, then you can go onto the switch, disable auto negotiation, and manually set it to 100 meg. Um, even though the PC can still negotiate down to 10 meg. So, and I thought it was the same with switches, but it's appearing not to be the case. So, short story long. If you're dealing with auto negotiation, make sure it's set the same on both sides. Uh, if it's enabled on both sides, make sure it's enabled on both sides. Uh, if one side is set to, you've got the speed set manually, make sure that on 
the switch port that you're trying to connect to, make sure the speed is set manually there. That's, that's what uh, fixed our problems in both cases. So uh, let me stop this share and make my face big again. So um, yeah, that's all I got for this week. I hope you found that uh, interesting, informative, or entertaining. And uh, if, if you've got any helpful hints or uh, suggestions, you know, I'm always open to that, as long as they're helpful and polite and constructive. And uh, you're not going to tell me how stupid I am. I already know how stupid I am. But you know what? It feeds the family. And I've, I've got my boss buffaloed. So hey, there you go. Hopefully you can buffalo your boss as well. Um, and now I say that the point is <clears throat> not in knowing all the answers, but being able to find the answers. Um, no, I don't know everything. I don't, I don't pretend to know everything. Um, but what I can do is dig and look for the answers. Google it, go to knowledge bases, go to the, the vendor's websites and, uh, and ask other people who know. So as always, uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, click, click the subscribe button and the notification bell if so desired. And uh, you'll get updates every time I make a new video. So again, thanks for watching everybody. God bless. Where is it? Where's the button?